And welcome back. Okay, so general basic electricity, question 71. Open the circuit in order to allow cooling of the motor. Open the circuit in order to allow cooling of the motor. A thermal switch or thermal protector is used in an electric motor is designed to open the circuit in order to allow cooling of the motor. A thermal switch or thermal protector used in an electric motor is designed to open the circuit in order to allow cooling of the motor. Open the circuit in order to allow cooling of the motor. All right, 72, we have another figure. It's gonna be figure 15. Answer is number 19. Number 19, with the landing gear retracted, the red indicator light will not come on if an open occurs on wire 19. 19. 19. When the landing gear retracted, the red indicator light will not come on if it occurs on wire 19. 19. Basic electricity 73. Close the push to test circuit. We need to close the push to test circuit. In figure 15, the number seven wire is used to close the push to test circuit. The number seven wire is used to close the push to test circuit. Push to test circuit. 74, number six. In figure 15, when the landing gear is down, the green light will not come on if an open occurs on wire number six. Wire number six will prevent the green light to come on. When landing gear is down, the green light will not come on if an open occurs on wire number six. Wire number six. Okay, 75, the fuel pressure cross feed valve open light will not illuminate. A fuel pressure cross feed valve open light will not illuminate. What will be the effect of the PCO relay fails to operate when the left hand tank is, accepted, is selected? So in figure 16, what will be the effect of the PCO really fails to operate when the left hand tank is selected? The fuel pressure cross feed valve open light will not illuminate. The fuel pressure cross feed valve open light will not illuminate. The fuel pressure cross feed valve will not illuminate. What will be the effect of the PCO relay fails to operate when the left hand tank is selected? The fuel pressure cross feed valve light will not illuminate. 76, cross feed position. Cross feed position. If refer to figure 16, the TCO relay will operate if 24 volts DC is applied to a bus and the fuel tank selector is in the cross feed position. The TCO relay will operate if 24 volts DC is applied to the bus and the fuel tank selector is in the cross feed position. Cross feed position. Cross feed position. Excellent. Number seven, three. In figure 16, with power to the bus and fuel selector switch to, to the right hand tank, how many relays in the system are operating? In figure 16, with power to the bus and fuel selector switch to the right hand tank, how many relays? It'll be three. Three relays. Three relays. 78. PCC and TCC. PCC and TCC. Figure 16, when electrical power is applied to the bus, which relays are energized? PCC and TCC, PCC and TCC, 
PCC and TCC. All right. Question 79. 5, 6, 11, 12, 13, 15, and 16. So keep referring to that figure. Energize the circuit with a fuel tank selector switch Select it to the left hand position. Using the schematic, identify the switches that will change position. So 5, 6, 11, 12, 13, 15, and 16. Once again, look at the diagram, figure 16, and you'll be able to see that 5, 6, 11, 12, 13, 15, and 16 switches will change position. All right. 80, three. So in figure 17, which of the component is a potentiometer? Which of the components in figure 17 is a potentiometer? Number three. Okay, component number three is a potentiometer. Oh, here we go, quiz time. I'll see you in a minute.